Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another episode of Bruin Build. Today we are working on the temple. And uh, last episode we built up the temple. Also we built something over there which we'll look at in just a second. But yes, we built this up last episode. I finished off the walls except for a few. I think I don't have the back end of like that portion right there and the back end here. But overall, all the walls are done. Today we're going to focus on the tower. Um, and then I might go through and try and do like a wall so you guys can see exactly how the wall is going to be. Um, but the exterior is looking good. I went ahead and changed the windows to the two wide windows. I think it fits the space better. And uh, yeah, I just think it looks really, really good. Um, I have yet to see, I've only seen a couple comments on the windows themselves. But overall, I think these are the better options. So I'm, if anything, making the executive decision to go with that. But today we're going to work on the tower, and I have some sweet ideas. Um, I'm going to require quite a bit of andesite. I went and gathered up more andesite, a shulker box worth, and then, well, more than a shulker box. And we're going to need a lot of polished andesite for this. So hopefully that is enough. I don't feel like mining out more but hopefully that is enough i imagine it's enough it's a lot of andesite that we need though so i think it's gonna be good though i think it's gonna be fun so let me uh actually let's take a flyby let's do a flyby i got some more rockets um and i, I think it's it's good to do a flyby uh last episode we also looked at real quick uh, uh, come on Ooh, shift click yes we made this carrot farm because i derped up and didn't actually record but that's okay. Made this little carrot farm. Very nice. Um, and I, I think it's pretty nice. We can uh, walk through it here in just a second. But let's look at the this here chapel or temple or whatever. I'll be calling it all sorts of names because I don't know what to call it. <laughs> um, I think it looks really good, especially when you fly by this direction. Oh, it's so good. And then if you go on the inside, one, it's very tall. Two, it feels really nice. I like what this feels like. It just feels very nice and big and open. And I have some fun ideas. Uh, we do. I do want to keep that very open with a window because I really like how the sun shines in like that. But um, yeah, I think it's going to be very fun. I don't know what this back wall should be. Um, maybe a statue or something could be back here that they worship maybe we have a, a, a statue of os our god i don't really know um but let's go look at that carrot really quick Ooh, that's terrifying to do and yoink very good yeah so here's the little carrot farm we uh had that i had made uh, meant to record it but didn't very nice um just very quaint little carrot farm and i think it turned out really good so let me, um, I have all the materials gathered. Let me just get things a little situated here and then we'll be uh, jumping right on in to building this up. And I also want to say, stick around to the very end of the video because um, I'm going to have some lore um, at the end of the video because I want to have the chapel, um, at least the tower done uh, to include into the lore, but I don't want to... Um, like give it a give away what we're doing um, until like we've actually done it. So I think that kind of makes sense. But there's going to be more lore at the end of this. Also, really quick, I extended this out over here, made a little sort of cliffside. I think this works really well. Just followed the flow of the land here and kind of had it flatten off like they chopped it off. And this is where we'll be entering into the catacombs. I think this is a a little bit better of an entrance. We could have like a. A, uh, a a more public catacomb area here and then we could have something maybe an entrance right here to get into the more private um higher ups uh maybe the the rayans that's where their um ancestors are put but yes i think this is very good adds a nice little depth area here i was trying out some stuff here but uh can decided i made a creative version of this world and built up uh, what I want and took some screenshots of that. So we're going to be going off of that, but let me uh, get things a little organized and I will be right back with you. All right. So I have things pretty much set out. I know the sun's almost going to go down, but we're probably just going to build through the night. Um, 
because this place is moderately lit up. Turned off shaders for any of you with the sensitive eyeballs, um, because I know shaders messes with some people. But uh, let me pull up my screenshot here. For some reason, it wasn't up. That's okay. Now let's uh, go ahead and go. So this is going to be interesting because this goes up. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. This is going to be a very exact science here. One, two, three, four, five. And then comes, I'm going to, I want to do this as I go because it is kind of tedious if I don't, especially in survival and creative, it was fine. Um, but in survival, it would be very tedious. We're going to build these sides up and, uh, it's going to be pretty much just, uh, this, um, we're doing this because it breaks up a very solid, um, like if, the, if this was just andesite all the way down, it would be, feel very weird. But this adding a couple stairs just makes it so it's a little bit better. And I think there's one more and then one last group of stairs. And then we're just going andesite all oh wait, I need the, all the way up. Um, and let's see, we should have a couple more. Yeah, not too many more. And then we are here. And uh, now comes the fun part of, let's see, how should we do this? Hmm, maybe we should do that down there first. Yes, I think we should do that. Build our way up and do bottom section, then top section, and then, gosh, thought I was going to fall there. Um, and I think, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now stairs. Make sure that's lined up. Yep. Perfect. And let's uh, just get that next to it. So what we're doing, I need one more. What we're doing is breaking it up because if you don't break it up, it looks very thick and weird. And um, it, honestly, just like having stairs just thrown in adds a lot of depth that you wouldn't really like get um, without it. One more. Yes, and then andesite all the way up. We're using a butt ton of andesite. Like, this build is draining of andesite. And I'm glad andesite pockets are pretty big. Um, should we go ahead and do... Well, this is where the weird part comes in, because this needs andesite. A andesite portion like this, but it has to come down. So I think... This will just come down like this, and well, well, okay. I guess we'll sleep because we're already down here. Might as well. Um, but then we can also take a look, and you can see what all is happening. Um, these legs are not going to be particularly interesting um, from the get-go. It's really the front facing. But even now, I mean, that just adds an, an extra amount of girth to our little tower here and I think it's going to be good um so now let's see if I can magically get back up there uh without killing myself how about right there Ooh, that was good I'm surprised I am surprised by my whoop out fell though I out fell um so we're gonna do this on all four corners I don't Okay, that can actually stay. I don't really know how this is going to work on these corners. Didn't really plan these corners out. Really planned the front ones because those are the ones you see. But um, let's do that and just kind of do it like this for now. Like it'll look like it continues down, but it probably won't. Probably actually will just be like a fake. Um, but that's okay. We don't do interiors on this channel. We will do an interior on this. This is too massive to not do an interior. That'd be stupid. Why would, We'd be dumb not to do this interior. Plus, this interior would be super fun. Is going to be super fun. So let's do upside down stairs. And this is going to wrap all the way around. So let me go ahead and do that. All right. Now comes the fun part. We're going to need more. More glass. Or I imagine we're going to need more. Don't really know. But always better to prepare than to be unprepared and hopefully we have enough of everything to be prepared in this episode if not 
you'll never know because it'll be off camera grinding. So I've gone ahead and wrapped that all the way around and now it's starting to get a little bit more shape and that is a good thing. And it's gonna allow for up there to get even thicker. Um, and it's gonna make this feel just a lot nicer, I think. And that is that is good. Now we're gonna tackle this bottom area. And ooh, we actually need, ooh, wood's actually in here. I keep forgetting, I moved only a few of my shulker boxes and uh, I keep forgetting where they are. <laughs> Um, but we need some of these and then we need some more spruce wood purely to make one door or two. Let's do one. Or well, I guess it doesn't matter, we made two. Or well, we made three technically. But what we're gonna do now is we are going to lay out where we want this uh, doorway. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it like this. And what I want is for this to have a door here in the center and then to have some, ooh, actually this is gonna have to be placed like this, very much like this. And then I think we need one more. I wanna say we need one, one more right here. Right like that. Okay, sorry about that. My mom uh, came out and was asking all sorts of questions and just kind of <laughs> got in the way of things, but that's okay. Um, so I just went ahead and built this. It's not very uh, crazy or intricate or anything like that. Just a simple doorway using our spruce trap doors to, in a kind of a tricky way. It looks like it's flat, but it actually comes out. Um, so we can have those stairs there. Um, but these are on this level and these are on the other level. I um, think that's pretty cool. It makes it almost have a slightly rounded effect, um, but I like it. I think it looks pretty neat. Um, now let's jump on up. We need, ooh, we should get a pillaring block. We get some dirt over there. Um, dirt is always a beautiful pillar block. And I was working with slabs. Don't think we're gonna work with slabs. Most of this is actually stairs um, because I, I just don't think that slabs um, add the same amount of effect that I want. Um, here, we're gonna do some stairs here and here. And then we're gonna have a wind, Ooh, not here. Oh here and then we're gonna break this and get some of this andesite back and then we're gonna have a window right here and so we're gonna want some stair action here and i believe oh actually we want stairs here and we want andesite there stairs we want upside down upside down upside down and then we want some glass right there. And then I think this actually has stairs like this and then blocks. And then it's gonna wrap up. The reason we're doing this is cause it's gonna wrap up here. And then there's gonna be stairs along this level, actually right here. I don't think there's gonna be stairs. There's gonna be some here, ooh, two, got a little, got a little happy there. So we'll do this, and then right here, ooh, right like that, and then comes a very, very <laughs> big window. And I need to look at this for a second. I believe we have upside down stairs going all the way across here if I remember correctly. And there might be even upside down stairs here. Gotta remember, but I think we should sleep. So let me go ahead and, ooh, almost didn't get that. Let's uh, go ahead and sleep and uh, come back and look at that real quick. Okay, so I added some stairs here to connect those up a bit. And now we have a big window that is pretty big. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, was that six? One, two, three, four, five, six, Oop. one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. So it's that big, it's this wide as well. And 
we're gonna have to build this up I think from the bottom because oops went a little crazy there um, okay one two three four five six and then it should come in just like uh, no it didn't it needs to come in here there and then this goes up another three I believe um, now we need to bump this down and we can get up there via this so we're going to use glass panes mainly because uh the glass block texture is still bro still broken <laughs> and this actually adds even another layer of de depth i see a lot of people that try and build um using a lot of depth but are using the glass block and in my opinion if you want even more depth try and build using the glass panes because that's just free depth right there you just get free depth out. This needs to come up one more, I believe. Yes, I think. I think this is where we're going to have it come up like this. And then can we? No, we cannot. There. Just do that. And then we've got quite a big oof window let's take a look at that just to see how it is thank goodness there's no more ghost blocks because i hated those things let's take a look at how big that is going to be oh yeah very big oh we missed some dirt but that's okay very very big so now comes the fun part of figuring out how to decorate this so let me try a few things and uh then we i'll show you because i think that's going to be easiest because it's going to be me derping around looking at the screenshot so I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so now we are up. I just finished down there. I, have, uh, I just wanted a platform of dirt to stand on. So we're right here, and uh, I have extended the window up further. As you can tell, it just goes all the way up, and you can't see these, so I don't think it's that big of a deal, um, and it just adds even more um, to the whole depth uh, stuff of it. And now we're just capping it off, and we are including a lot of these because as you see on our houses, we have quite a bit of this, and I wanted to try and incorporate this shape um, into our build here. Um, just making sure, okay, good am recording don't want to do any of this really without actually like recording because that would be sad and then i think these if i remember correctly to get this to get like a curve feel instead of um like actually doing like a lot of people the reason they work with blocks is so they can have the glass inset and then they, they want to get curvature and stuff so they want to have stairs on the other side and we kind of have that going right here but if you do curve stairs like this, the glass doesn't connect. So you don't get that weird texture, but you still get that flatness and you get this added layer of depth. So that's why I would argue for using um, glass panes over regular glass. And so now let's break this and then we'll take a look-see of what we've got going here. And I think, oh, that's sad. Oh, that's even more sad. I done broke it all. All right, there we go. Ooh, that's annoying. So this is what it looks like currently. And um, it's just going to get grander and grander as it goes. Because remember, we still have to do this on this. And then the top has some fancy stuff happening up on the top. But these really big purple windows, I am just absolutely in love with them. I didn't think I would actually love purple windows. But the more I see them, the more I'm like, this... This is awesome. Um, so now we're going to just uh, get up there and uh, do exactly what we did here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because it's uh, no fanciness here like with the stairs. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on this and do that so that we can get into the detail work of this front facing side. All right. So we now, as soon as I get out of the way, there we go. So now... We're going to be working on this section, um, and the top, again, has stairs kind of skirting it around uh, just to make it a little bit wider and more, um, I don't know, it just may, it breaks up the flow of everything, and like having bump outs and stuff is always good. Um, so now we're going to work on this front-facing section, and uh, 
yeah, it's, let's just jump right on in. We're just going to slap our face, but we didn't because we're pros. We did slap, but our side. We slapped our side. So we're going to have stairs right here just to break things up like this, and then stairs like this. Uh, this front-facing side has a block. Uh, here, the other sides I don't think are going to. I don't really know what the sides are going to look like. That's going to be something I have to figure out. But again, now comes the fun part of figuring out. So let's see. We've got three, and then I think this is going to be a stair here. And then we want some upside-down stairs maybe right here to break and I think this is going to be a plain section we don't you don't need crazy amounts of things um, going everywhere on your builds because if you have um, a lot of busyness happening like down there having a plain old section is actually good because then it breaks up how busy your eyes like being overwhelmed because if you look at like if you look at art pieces there are generally places where there's a lot of stuff happening, a lot of details happening, but then it's broken up because they don't like there are focus points and that's where all the detail stuff is happening. But then there's portions where it's pretty calm. It's pretty tame. Um, let's add stairs here. Maybe we'll break this window up. Uh, more stairs, please. Thank you. And then this is going to go up another five, I think. Sure, we'll go up five if we can reach that. Uh, we can, but, well, we just won't get it quite yet. Um, let's trade out. We don't need this right now, so let's get some glass panes going on right here. And then this is going to be plain going up the sides. Again, do not need where the detail is. is uh, the detail is in the uh, areas where the glass is. Um, and we don't want to overwhelm the eyeball with crazy amounts of detail. That's something that I at least am taking from, um, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, right? Yes. Um, that's something I am taking from all of my art classes that I was in is you just don't want to overwhelm the viewer because if you overwhelm them, then they're not going to want to look at what you just made because they're going to be like, I don't know where to focus. So you have to guide the viewer's eye. Ooh, did that turn? Dang. You have to, you have to oh, not have your heart jump into your throat because you're stupid and you fell off something. Uh, you have to guide the viewer's eye because if you don't, then your viewer's not going to know what in the world they should be looking at. Uh, so like this. And then I think up here we could have a andesite block and then, hmm. How shall we go about this? Maybe, actually, this I think this window needs to be one taller, if I am thinking correctly, because I think I want this block to be here, and then we want a stair to be right here. So we're going to do it like that instead. So just one bigger, oh gosh, this is going to be tough. I'm just going to make it easy on myself. There we go. Uh, so we want the glass to come up to here, and boom. There we go. Uh, so then we have to redo this. All right, time to look at it. Oh, yes. That looks so good. Oh, I love it. Oh, let's get up there. Okay, and turn. Awesome. We'll take a look at it in just a second. I want to get these top area work and so you can see what the final product is going to be like um, this is a lot of building on camera so we don't typically do a ton of this um, not at least this guided because uh, typically I'm pretty scatterbrained uh, let me get a screenshot up of how to do this very good okay so not now I don't usually like to build where I am very um not there here right like that right yes yes i don't typically like to build where i am being very um uh what's it called like guided by my own screenshots but this build i really wanted it to turn out so i really wanted to do something that was big and extravagant but i also know myself and i know that i need to follow a kind of a blueprint so that is why i'm following so much of my like screenshots and stuff 
um, because I really just want this to turn out really cool. Um, what should we put in the inside here? Let's put some stone bricks. And we'll do this. And do some of this here. And then let's do more um, stone bricks. How about you? You come to right there. And then uh, I don't think we're actually going to need this because I know we're going to need these. Okay, we're going to have these corners come up here. And we need to go up another three. And then we can come up one and start wrapping it. Ooh, how much andesite? Oh, we so we have plenty of andesite. I went and gathered way too much andesite. <laughs> we have so much andesite now. I don't even know what to do with it. Um. Okay, so we're going to go upside down stairs like this. I'm not connecting the corners, though. Don't want to connect the corners because I, I kind of like the edge feel of this. So we're going to have some stuff like this, and you're going to get a better ooh, out of that. A good thing, I think it's in here. Oh, wow. Please don't throw it down there. Yeah, I made more. I made some of this because I was like, mm, we're going to need, we're going to run out of something. Okay, I think that's good. Let's make some more. Very good. Okay, and break you. And then put you back in there and break you and grab. Very good. Okay, so we're having you're you're gonna see what this what we're doing here. Um why this is relevant. Uh it's gonna be better when you see um all four of these done. I'll show you what one looks like. Um, and then you'll probably be like, Pixel Brew, you are a nutty person. There's no way this is going to work. Um, and then and then I'll show you four, and then I'll be able to gloat uh, just a slight bit and be like, are you, you doubted me. Uh, no, I won't do that. I wouldn't do that to you guys. Why would I ever do that? So we're going to build this up here, and then I think this comes up one more, and then we want some walls here. And I think that's going to do it. Think. We, well, let's take a look. See, um, let's take a look. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's what I wanted. Um, let's take a look down here first. This is kind of a weird place to take a look at, but ooh, see now you're getting the view of it. Look at that. Look at that. That's so crazy. Like, oh, that's great. I am absolutely loving this. Um, so there's gonna be two or three more of these uh, one for each corner um, so let me go ahead and get bi those built up and then i'll be back and we'll be able to show this off and then i'm going to do some off-camera work um, to build up the sides i think i'm going to try out some ideas and get your opinion on sides um, not the side of the tower um, but i want to get some ideas from you about the sides of the building how we should handle that so let me uh, build these up i'll show you what that looks like overall and then i'll get your opinion on some sides and i think that'll probably do it for this episode because i think things are starting to run a little long so let me get some stuff done um so you know how i said i was gonna show you some side work and and then and then leave it up to you um, well, I did that, and then I, I had recorded a clip about that, giving you three options, and then I just decided. <laughs> and then I built this. Now, I know what you're thinking. Pixel, how how could you build this without... Also, are we, like, zoomed out? Ooh, yeah, we're zoomed in, actually. How could you, how could you build this without me? And I'm sorry, I got I got very excited and was just building away like a madman. This is such a fun build to do, and I just was I was just going crazy with it. Um, so I just wanted to show you really quick because I know we're right at the end, and I still want to show you some uh, lore stuff. Also, shaders again. Sorry if you don't like shaders, because um, I have some fun things to show you. First is this. I am just like so proud of this. Um, little little <laughs> statue like this thing's amazing i i retextured the furnace i should show you um what the furnace looks like uh because actually we have one in here i really loved the old b-dubs uh furnace texture because it looked like kind of cavey but i also really like germs's um 
animated texture, so I combined both of them and came up with this. Let's get some of this, and then um, what do we want to cook? Um, what can we cook? Uh, um, uh, 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 that's all cooked. We need to cook something. What can we cook? Can we cook anything? Sand. So, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I, I, re I really like it. Um, so the base texture is germs' and then I change. So the side, the bottom, okay, the bottom is just brick. Um, the side, top, and front, uh, except for the bars, are germs', the animation is his. Um, he did all the hard work, honestly. I just meshed um, the old B-dubs texture with his because I really liked these bar things. I thought they were really cool. Um, so this is what the top looks like. And uh, I, I also made it so it's darker. Um, it's a darker uh, gray. So there, there. Ooh. Just had to grab that really quick because that looks awesome. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to grab to uh, darken it because then it went better with the iron we've got. And then I also changed uh, the Eve changed uh, this the solar panel to being a like a, an iron color as well our iron closer to our iron color right here um, so that it could just fit better it was kind of an odd brown and then it fits better with this statue and kind of acts as pauldrons and stuff I thought it was really cool so if you're wondering it's uh, just like anvil cauldron anvil and then hoppers and then the furnace on top because this furnace to me looks kind of like a knight helmet um, and then a trap, a iron trap door, and then he's got like a big old hammer, and I, I I'm just very happy with it. Uh, the side here, uh, okay, so this was one option I would I gave you, and then and and then I just ran with it because I really liked it. Um, so there's a shorter option, and then it, there's a one block taller version. Um, there are walls up here. There are no walls here, and so it's just short, tall, short, and then it goes again, short, tall, short. Um, just yeah very 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 happy with it and then um here let me grab something real quick um um so it's it's raining <laughs> so you're not gonna be able to freaking see it uh this is annoying so the sun's right there okay i'm just gonna wait till night because i mean this place looks really cool when it's rainy like don't get me wrong i really like what it looks like and especially in these shaders but we can't see a freaking thing Got it all situated. Gonna drink a potion here. Gonna toss that away because I don't want it. And flying. And we're doing this because that was a slow fall potion. And now we can just take a look, see at this. And let's let's fly a little down. And then let's just cruise. Okay, let's get closer. And and there we go. So there we go. So as you can see in the front here, I did. I, I put some purple terracotta. Actually, I think that's blue terracotta. Um, and the blue terracotta is really cool um, because it goes well with the purple windows. And then um, this area over here, okay, we are not, we are literally not moving. Um, this is, uh, okay, shaders, you're beautiful, but you're in the way. Uh, Silver's enhanced default. Dang, oh, God, that's the wrong ones. Those are the bad ones. There we go. <laughs> um so then this is just walls and then stairs and a really tall window and i thought that fit really well um and then stop and i put the purple behind this as well and so i thought that was really nice and then let's go up again and i put purple right there and uh overall i think that's all we've done okay now i'm gonna let you go and uh we, we're going to have some lore to watch, and I, 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 I am sorry that I went crazy and built a whole bunch of stuff. But hopefully you like it. I really like it. I think it's really cool. Um, and now I just have to build up the other side based on your opinions. Uh-oh. Potion wore off. All right. So if you like the video, leave a like in real life. And um, if you are new to the channel and you like what you see and you want to continue seeing things made by me, 
then uh, feel free to subscribe. Join the little family we've got going here, and then uh, I will see you in the next video. Uh, and be sure to stick around for some lore about, I think I'm going to do some lore about the temple and the religion of Os. I think that's the goal. So uh, stick around for that, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. The worship of the human god Os began near the beginning of the second era of Tempora. The legend goes that there once was a man named Os, born in a small unknown town in a small unknown kingdom. He was a valiant warrior and led his kingdom's armies against enemies that vastly outnumbered them. Never once did he falter, and never once did he lose. Seeing his potential, the king of his land adopted Os into his royal family, for he needed an heir to the throne, one he saw fit to rule his land. Upon the death of his king, Os took the throne and led his kingdom into the new era. He united all tribes of mankind under his one banner and protected and fought for them with a mighty fury. Three years into his reign as High King, mankind was faced with an enemy that brought the race to its knees. It is said that beings from another plane of existence sought the destruction of mankind. A war raged on for 16 long years, and on the last attempts of man to defend against such an extinction, Os took the fight to the enemy. He and a group of his trusted companions snuck past the enemy's onslaught and traveled to the End Realm. What went on in the realm is mere myth, but at the very end of it all, when the last barricades fell, a great roar was heard, and soon after a dragon the size of a mountain came crashing out of the enemy's gates, and atop its head was Os. With a final blow, O slew the great worm, thus ending the war and closing shut the connection between this world and the End Realm. The gods of the other races, having seen such a mighty act, bestowed upon Os the gift of immortality. It is said on that day, Os flew high into the sky on dragon's wings, landing atop his throne in the clouds, sitting alongside the other gods. Thus is the legend of Os passed down through the ages. It is to him whom we worship, and to him whom we owe our very existence. <laughs>